Revelation 993. From the 4th of July 1939. Materialists. God concept. Own will. What man rebels against most, is the recognition of a power which he does not see or somehow perceive tangibly. The human being as still standing in matter himself, is still so much material, that his only concept is what he is able to see or which existence can be proved somehow. Everything else, however, he rejects as unbelievable as long as matter holds him captive. Only the moment where this begins to lose value for the human being, the concept of God becomes understandable to him, he begins to believe in the being, a power, without being able to prove the existence. However, he will not come to full knowledge until he himself has made contact with the eternal Godhead, even if unconsciously. Already the consideration that the whole universe must be steered by a higher being, gives cause for frequent thinking, and man occupies himself in the spirit with the highest entity, and he begins to recognize in all works of the creation the guidance of the universe, from now on he is far more interested in everything that points to the divine creator than in matter, which seems to be only a hindrance to him and is therefore more than ever avoided, that is fought against. Now it can be understood how fruitlessly spiritual things can be mentioned to a materialist, because everything seems to be questionable and unbelievable to him, what cannot be grasped or felt by him with his hands and all speeches in this regard are in vain, until matter no longer appeals to him, or he is obviously pointed to the work of the eternal Godhead by sorrowful events. The lack of spiritual knowledge is often not so disadvantageous for such a man, because he would deny them flatly or would regard them as fantasies of a fanatic, and therefore such a man should remain in his ignorance until he himself has desire for it and expresses this by thoughtful existence and willing detachment from everything worldly. Connected with a constantly growing desire for spiritual truths. Such a person can penetrate far deeper into the spiritual realm if such a transformation has taken place within him. However, this transformation must have taken place of his own free will, there must be no influence whatsoever from the human side, because just such initial god are exceptionally active mentally, and if they deal with this problem of divinity at all in the first place, they will certainly get on the right path through the mental influence of the spiritual helpers, whereas human influence would only strengthen their will of rejection and therefore the goal will be more difficult to reach. However, it is not disadvantageous to direct the thinking of such people to areas which were foreign to them until now, so that they are offered the opportunity to decide for themselves. But the free will should do everything else. Amen.